let's just do a little bit from head to toe movement. Drop your chin to your chest. Get a little easy back of a neck stretch. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Into chest, over to the left. Chin to chest, back over to the right. And maybe send your left fingertips for a stretch on the mat to the side. You should feel a little bit deeper stretch on that left side of your neck. Hand comes back in, roll your neck forward and take it to the left. And then walk the right fingertips out. Beautiful hands come in, head comes back and just look up to the ceiling. And back to neutral and let's do some shoulder rolls. Lift them forward, up, back and around. For four, use your breath. Three, exhale, inhale, two, let it go. One more and reverse it. And four, four more forward. Three, how much scapular movement can you get? Two. And one, and then hold your legs and pull back to your um, rounded shape, exhale. So like your cat on all fours, and then bring it through for cow. Chest forward, look forward. On your own time, with your own breath, let's move. Exhale. In, keep going, I'll tell you when you're done. Curious, but how much of you movement can you move in that spine? Round it and then open the heart. One more of each. Lovely, and come back to the center. Gonna take your right hand over to your left leg and then just an easy twist. Remember, try to draw the navel in and up under the ribs and keep that back and head nice and tall and proud. And keep your right hand on your leg, take your left arm and give me a side stretch. anchoring down that leg, sitting bones, and you're just stretching. Now accordion out those side waists. Breathe, make space. And gently rise. And let's take a twist to the right. Head can be wherever you'd like. You don't need to neck stress here. Just work on that nice twist from the torso. Keep your left hand on your right knee and just stretch your right arm up and over. Big breaths into that side waist. Try to keep your right leg and sitting bone nice and firm on the mat. Beautiful, and rise. Lovely, let's just rock forward and we're gonna meet in uh, all fours position, knees under hips, 
hands under shoulders. I'm going to turn towards you. You're going to do your right hand is going to lift up to the sky. And we're going to reach under for three times. And on the fourth one, we'll thread the needle. So just look up to the sky, to the right hand, bring it through like you're going to land it. And then reach up. Repeat two more times. Reach up. Three. Don't land it yet. And on the next one, you can land down onto that right shoulder, right ear, the right side of your head and relax. Remember, it's always a little challenging in this twist to breathe. Try to make as much space in the front of your chest so you can do so. And your hand can go anywhere that you'd like on that left side. Stretch it forward or bind it back or keep it near your face. Your hand is outside of your body there. Bring it back in near the face. Push up. Lift up and give me one last stretch up with the right arm. See if you made more space in the front of your body and come back down again. Lovely. Let's do all that on the left side. Left arm up. And let's thread it three times. Bend your right elbow a little bit. Come on down with that body. And the next one we land. Take it down. Make sure you're pushing the bottom arm into the floor. The palm is facing the sky. And this right arm is a nice anchor wherever you'd like it to be. Just think, chest turning to the side. Try to keep that breath nice and moving in for four count. One more round of breath in. Bring that hand in near your face and press up to rise the left arm to the sky. Beautiful, and come back down to all fours. And just bring your right hip all the way to the right and look over your right shoulder. Look at your right hip bumping out there. Come to the center and do the other side. You're just wagging your tail back and forth. Getting a little sideways, little seat stretch. Give me four more on your own. Really bump it out to the side. Beautiful, and come back to the center. You're gonna lay down all the way on the floor, flat. Take your arms out to a T, palms down. And just rest your head to one side for a second. And turn your head, rest it the other direction.
and whichever direction your face is turning, I want you to walk those fingertips in close to your face and lift up the same leg as the arm that pulled into your face, lift it up and flip it over your body to the side. The so Scorpio. So if your knee wants to go to the sky and you want to stack those hips and open, feel free. Or you can just bring the leg slightly on top or behind the other leg. And just breathe here. Gently roll back and make your body nice and flat on the mat and stretch your arms out again and turn your head to the other side. So now you're facing the hand that's going to walk in towards you, elbow to the sky, lift the same leg up and flip it over. So this is getting your pec stretch, you already did your um, lat stretch. This is the front of the shoulder. Don't worry about how much leg you can move. It's really about just getting that shoulder at the front and opening your body to the side. And when you're ready, gently come back roll it forward and let's do a nice gentle back stretch let's meet me in your elbows under shoulders sphinx pose so the most passive of all the back stretches your elbows are directly under the shoulders your heart is shining forward your top of your feet pressing down. If you'd like to float the knees off the floor, feel free. Just a little knee squeeze and lift them. And always keep the core engaged. The core protects the lower back. So it's always good to keep that nice and strong. And then lower the knees if they're up. And we'll just pull back to a close leg child's pose. So just walk your way back. Bring your seat towards your heels and stretch forward. And now let's focus on breathing into that lower back. See if you can feel your side waist ballooning out your lower back filling up with air, really focusing in on there. Give me two rounds of your four second breath. So in for four. And out. You can also feel your belly rising. Go again in, feel your belly rise, feel your back expand. And out, draw the navel away from the legs. And walk your hands back to your knees, nice and easy. Walk it. Your feet are nice and flat and you're just sitting on your legs. Take your arms behind your legs. You can turn your palms out to the side, if this is okay for you. And then maybe a little top of the feet stretch, lift the knees off the mat. We won't be here for long. If this isn't comfortable for you, don't worry. We'll be out of it in a second. Just lift the knees off the mat, float onto the tops of the feet and then maybe lift the seat. All the while, try to keep your arms nice and straight, open up your chest. 
And let's just do one of eight. Drop the seats, lift the knees. Drop the knees, lift the seats. Eight. Or you can just be sitting right here or even here. Seven more. Three more on your own. Maybe you're just resting here and getting a nice stretch. Two more. And one. And let's all meet up on our knees, shoulders over knees. If you ever need to double up your mat for that knee cushioning, feel free to do that. We're gonna take the right leg straight out to the side. Try to line up your toes facing forward. Navel is in, tailbone drops down, slide your right hand down and stretch. See if you can focus on the outside edge of your right toes, push them down. Get that nice inner thigh stretch. And then hands come down in front of shoulders. All fours position with the leg to the side. And let's just do a rock and roll forward a smidge. Try to focus on keeping that inner thigh on that right side nice and straight. And if you'd like to come down to the elbows or if you have the blocks and you'd like to come down a little bit lower, you can put the blocks down and come down to your elbows. And then same thing, you can rock forward and back. If you find a nice spicy little stretch, just hold it there for a, two rounds of breath. In for four. Another round of breath in. And if you're on your elbows, make your way up to straight arms. And we're gonna dip the arm all the way down under the left shoulder and lift the leg. Draw that navel in, have that nice straight line down your back. And let's land the foot and stretch over the right side, like so. Beautiful, give me three more on your own. Last time, and just hold. Nice strong hold, nice big stretch. The four, three, and come down to your knees. Beautiful. Come back to the center. We'll do all that on the other side. Left toes to the side. Big, big stretch. Toes face forward. Stretch down your leg. Give me that side bend. Stretch out those ribs, breathe. And then the top arm lifts you up and you just lean forward, straight arms. And then just shimmy forward and back. Remember it's the morning, we wanna go nice and easy on the body, really listen to the body. One side isn't the same as the other either, so be aware of that. And if you're ready, maybe come down to the elbows or use the blocks somewhere in between. Blocks are a wonderful friend. Bring the floor up to you so you can do things a little stronger and safely. 
And when you land in a position that you feel a nice stretch, just stay and breathe. And come up to those straight arms all the way up and dip that right arm down to the floor, land it safely and lift the leg. You can start with your hand on your hip if you'd like, get that balance and give me three more. Maybe add the arm stretch when you're ready. Three, two more now. Next time, land it, find your balance and hold. Hi, John, I see your body part moving around over there. Belly tight, hold for four, three, two, and we are down. Lovely. Come back onto your knees. Sit back on your feet. And stay up sitting right here. Get a nice quad stretch. Walk your hands out all the way. Walk your feet back. Be on your knees. And try to keep your hands, arms straight, your knees down, and you're in a little bit stronger of a back stretch. So up dog without the knees lifted. And let's just push back to child's pose and go back and forth here. So just go back, booty to heels, and then float forward and draw the heart forward. You got three more. Two more. And last one. And all the way back to child's. Stretch it forward, breathe into that back. And let's walk your hands back. You're going to float over to one side of your legs and send those legs out straight out in front of you. Try to sit up nice and tall. Shimmy your seat all the way back. Inhale the arms up. And we're folding forward at the hips. So just reach forward till you feel the back of the legs. Check in and put your hands down to either side of your legs. No need to reach for the toes and grab and pull, just relax. See if you can look down at your knees and flex and release them. So like you're pressing your knees down and then relaxing them, lifting the quads off the kneecaps and then relaxing. Literally visually see your thighs move up away from the knees. And then slowly walk your hands back. Bring them all the way behind you and your knees come up to the sky and cross your right leg above your left knee and walk your heel in. You can also move your seat to your heel for your seated figure four stretch. If you prefer to do this laying on your back, you can come on down like that. Whichever version you like. And I want you just to breathe now. Push that knee away from your chest on its own and feel the stretch.
Whether you're sitting upright or laying on your back, you can move your legs right to left. Land them in a nice juicy stretch and stay. Beautiful. Gently lift out of the seat if you're sitting. Come on back. Stretch it out. Shimmy the knees around, and we have the other side. When you're ready, arms behind, if you're doing seated version, legs in, cross the left leg, bring the seat as close as you wish to the heel, and enjoy the stretch. Remember, if you're sitting up, try to have your arms straight and your chest proud. Move your body around, see if you find a nice place to stay. Gently lift your seat away from your heels if you're seated. Release, stretch out the legs, give them a little shake. And we're making our way all the way down to the floor. Come on down, hug your knees in. Try to keep your knees as close to your chest as you can. And then the arms come out to a T and you drop them all the way to the right. If they'd like to land on a block with your knees, feel free to just put one of those blocks underneath your bottom knee and relax. Sometimes it's nice to have a little support for the leg. If you'd like, right hand can float on top of the thigh Give yourself your own little extra twist there. Look over the left arm. Maybe go back to the left corner of the room for lymph node activation for immunity. your way back to the center with your knee squeeze if you're using the block bring the block with you and then we'll take it to the other side so let your knees come down and put your knees on that block arms out to a T you can take that arm rest it on top of the thigh get a little deeper stretch and right hand to back right corner this season for needing a little extra immunity boost. That hand that's going to the back corner, palm is down, and you're just stretching into that side waist. Beautiful. Make your way back to the center with your knees and maybe you can use the blocks for your legs in your resting pose. So a couple of options, soles of your feet together and rest your knees on the blocks or also they're underneath the calves. So you can do your corpse pose with them underneath your calves, hands out to the side and completely surrender now.
sure your shoulder blades are flat, open across the mat. And now let's go back to our senses and just listen. Feel the body sinking into the floor. Feel your arms and your legs so heavy. Feel your heavy pelvis and your heavy head sinking like you're in quicksand, just going down and down, heavy. I will leave you here for a few minutes. If you can take the time for yourself, just relax. Have a beautiful Thursday, beautiful travel day, whatever your day has in store. What a way to start it. Stay where you are, no need to move. Namaste.